สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ In this video we will talk about public transportation using Bangkok as an example We will show you how to get to the city from the airport and we will provide you with several options when traveling in Thai There are two international airports serving the Bangkok metropolitan area International flights from all over the world land at s u w a r n a p o o m Airport d o n m u o n g Airport Is the main hub for Thai and Southeast Asian regional budget airlines. If you fly out of the United States to Thailand, you are more than likely to land at s u w a r n a p o o m Airport. The airport of Thailand, or AOT, has a video showing the arrival process at s u w a r n a p o o m Airport, available in several languages, including English. You can check it out on YouTube. Currently, there are no videos for other airports in Thailand. To get to downtown Bangkok from the airport, there are several options. Car rental service is available 24 hours. It is located on the second floor near Gate Number no. Eight. To rent a car in Thailand, you need an international driving permit. You can get an international permit. Before you leave the U.S. at your local AAA or AATA, in Thailand, you are required to drive on the left-hand side of the road. You can also take a taxi or ride a train into the city. Taxis are available 24 hours on the first floor at gate number four and gate number seven. You need to stop at a taxi kiosk before you find a taxi. Taxi fares are based on distance. Tollway fees and a 50 baht service fee are not included in the fare, so you should have extra money available for this. To get to downtown Bangkok, tollway fees can range from two to three U.S. dollars. All fares and fees must be paid in cash. To learn how to use taxi kiosk service at the airports. You can watch the video on YouTube provided by the airport. To take the train, follow the site for the airport rail link, and go down to the basement. The train runs from 5:30 a.m. through midnight. Fares are calculated according to distance. They range from 15 to 45 baht, which is less than two U.S. dollars. You can buy a token. At the ticket office or at automatic vending machines, which are available in Thai and English. Now we are heading to downtown Bangkok by train. Please follow us. As of 2018, there are five rapid transit lines in Bangkok. The Suwarnabhumi Airport Rail Link is one line, and the BTS and MRT systems each have two lines that serve downtown Bangkok. The BTS or SkyTrain runs above the street on an elevated rail system. MRT trains run underground. Additional lights are under construction to connect Delta with the suburbs. They are expected to open in a few years. From the airport to downtown, you can get off the train at Makasan Station. Here, circled in blue. And connect to the MRT system. You can also get off the train at the Piyatai Station, here circled in green, and connect to the BTS system. It takes half an hour to get from the airport to Piyatai Station. For further information about the airport rail link, you can visit their website. BTS runs from 6 a.m. until midnight. You can buy one-day and 30-day passes at the ticket office. Single journey tickets are available at ticket vending machines. Fares range from 16 to 59 baht according to distance. MRT also runs from 6 a.m. until midnight. You can buy prepaid fare cards at the ticket office. For a single trip, you can buy a token. At ticket vending machines, fares range from 14 to 42 baht, according to distance. Next, 
we will show you other forms of land transportation. In Bangkok, you can travel by bus, taxi, tuk-tuk, or motorbike taxi. Buses run between 5 a.m. and 11 p.m. After 11 p.m., there are night buses on some routes. The fare for regular buses is 6 baht, 50 satang, which is around 20 U.S. cents, regardless of distance. There are also air-conditioned buses with fares between 10 and 23 baht according to distance. You pay the fare in cash to a bus conductor when you get on the bus. Taxis in Thailand are very colorful. Different color schemes indicate different taxi companies. Every company has the same fare rate. The fare starts at 35 baht or about one US dollar. You can take a taxi at taxi stands in transportation terminals or shopping malls. You can also hail a taxi from the street. When you see the red light on, it means the taxi is available. Unlike the airport taxi service, there is no service fee when you take a taxi from the street. However, you still have to pay for tollway fees. If you would like to have a local experience, you can try riding a tuk-tuk. You can hail a tuk-tuk on any street. Fares are based on distance, and there is no standard rate. Before you negotiate a fare with a tuk-tuk driver, you should ask local people how much it usually costs to get to your destination. During rush hours or for a short distance, some Thai people prefer taking a motorbike taxi. In tourist areas, the fare chart is written in both Thai and English at motorbike taxi stands. Motorbike taxi drivers are easy to spot in their orange vests. The Japriya is a major river in Thailand. It flows through Bangkok and several other cities. Riding a boat along the river is a good way to see locals and how they live. Japriya Express boats run from 6 a.m until 8 p.m. on weekdays, and from 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. on weekends and holidays. At each pier, sites are available in both Thai and English. There are five types of boats. A regular boat stops at every pier. Another three types of boats stop at only some of the piers. The tourist boat stops at major tourist spots. Fares are from 9 to 20 baht, according to distance. For more information, you can check out that website. Bangkok is notorious for heavy traffic. To avoid running late or missing your flight, please ask local people about approximate travel time before planning your trip. Be sure to give yourself plenty of time in case of unexpected delays. We hope the information in this video is useful for you. In our next video, we will teach you how to ask where something is located and how to give directions in Thai. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ